Hi, today I am going to be unboxing, reviewing, and rating even more ridiculous art supplies you guys tagged me in from TikTok. Starting with this first item, we're gonna start off with a bang because I have never been tagged more on an item on TikTok more than what you're about to see. So this item is super cool. What this is, is a paintbrush cleaning tank that when the paint water gets dirty and full of paint, you can rinse it out and it'll refill the water automatically. And just like that, you have brand new, freshly clean water for your paint. It took me kind of a little bit to find it because it wasn't just like on Amazon or anything like that, but I did find it. This is the Green World brush rinser and I only could find it on eBay for 35 bucks with shipping included. Okay, here we go. You're probably wondering why I didn't unbox it and why it's already assembled. And the answer to that, my friend, is that this item, the brush rinser that everybody went crazy for, it arrived, drum roll please, broken. And it's like broken in like the most important way too. Basically the little plug that prevents the water from draining, it's not plugging up. So basically it's just constantly draining and I'm not able to create a water reservoir. Which is so frustrating because at this point I have tried everything. I tried obviously firstly the instructions, I tried bending it, I tried my own tools and it's just not gonna work. Like the plug just won't plug, like it just won't hold water. But on a positive note, I think if this was working, I think this would be a very good size for a brush rinser. And I love the little paint tank. I think this is just the most adorable little thing I have ever seen. And all the people that I've seen on TikTok, they look like they love their brush rinser, but obviously it didn't work for me. So if you guys at home want to try this, all I got to say is buyer beware. For me personally, I'm sorry. I'm going to say this is not worth the hype. Coming in next, we have an item that I gotta give huge credit to for being very creative. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't understand the concept of it, but... I am here for it. So what this is, is a pencil, and instead of an eraser, it has a little capsule full of seeds. And whenever you're done using the pencil, you stick it in some soil, you add water, you add sunlight, and bada bing, bada boom, it's a pencil that you can grow. This pencil is by the brand Sprout World. They come with different flowers and seeds and they are a little bit pricey. For five pencils, it's gonna cost you almost $11. So right off the bat, I gotta say that these have a very cool design to them. I like the fact that these are just natural wood and they don't have like an outer paint because I feel like the paint would eventually flake off and then like get into your basil plant. So I think they were so smart to not include like an outside paint layer to these pencils. The little capsule that holds the seeds, it feels like a vitamin capsule and it's filled with a bunch of seeds as well as sawdust and the capsule is completely water soluble. And as far as the actual pencil itself, there's nothing special there. It's just a regular everyday pencil. And the reason it took me so long to make this video is because I actually planted one of these pencils almost a month ago. I'll see you when I see you. Fast forward a month later, here's what it looks like now. It totally worked. It's growing into a full-on sage plant. It had so many seeds, I have like six little plants. And even more interesting, the wooden pencil is starting to break down. But yeah, this worked out awesome. I'm so proud of this plant. You guys have no idea. This works so fun. Yeah, 100% worth the hype. Now on to the next art supply. We have an item that has been all over my For You page. So what this is, is a regular eraser on one side and the second side is a little thing that cleans up the eraser shavings. So it's basically an eraser that cleans up itself. These are the Mr. Pen erasers. They come in a six pack and I got them for $5.75. So here they are. The first thing I gotta say about these is that these are so adorable. I have never seen an eraser that is just so cute. And the eraser side is quite large, which is good because it'll last you a while. So I'm feeling very positive about this. I think these are really great right off the bat and I'm excited to see if they actually work. So I'm gonna erase just like you normally would and try to make as much eraser shavings as possible. And now let's see if it works. Oh my God, dude, it's working perfect. Look, even the big one, it's like picked it up perfect. Dude, this is so cool. And this is one of those things that even if you're not an artist, everybody uses pencils. So I feel like everybody would benefit from this. This is so cool. 
It doesn't look like there's a lot of eraser shavings that we picked up, but I know for a fact we picked up every single one. So I don't know what's going on there. I feel like using a regular eraser is just not gonna do it for me anymore. You know what I mean? Like now that I've seen the light, I just, I can't go back. Yeah, this worked perfectly. I really enjoyed it. Definitely worth the hype. And by the way, all the items that I'm gonna be showing today, I will leave the Amazon link in the description box down below. That way, if you're interested, you wanna try some of these out for yourself, you know where to find them. I got you, okay? Next up, we have a combination art hack slash art product. And this one is so cool because it's basically a way to store your acrylic paint with airtight plastic syringes. I bought the 10 pack, 10 milliliter size with a plastic cap for $10.99. So let's try it out. I guess these are like medical grade because they came sterile and they came in their own little individual packaging. For the paint, I'm gonna be using a thick body, high quality red acrylic paint. Okay, here we go. Yeah, okay, so that definitely did not really work so well. Let me add a little bit of water to this and we'll see if it works from here. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see if it works now. Um, it's a little bit better. It's a little bit better, but still no. Yeah, no, this does not work. In the TikTok, it looked like it worked really well with thick paint, but even watered down, this is not working at all. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to say this is not worth the hype. All right, so before we get into the next product, I wanna give a real quick shout out to my good friend Robin Seelark here on YouTube. She did a really awesome deep dive video on me where she interviewed me and we got really deep into conversation and I talked about a lot of things that I never thought that I would talk about here on YouTube. The first thing that I would do to young Ray is shake her violently and be like, why are you so dumb? After this video ends, if you wanna know a little bit more about me, I'll put it in the description box down below. And this leads us to the final item. What you're about to see, I'm gonna consider this an early Christmas gift for myself because these are beautiful, okay? I ordered these paints straight from Japan and spent too much on shipping, but have no regrets. They're used by Studio Ghibli for their beautiful films. I can't wait to try them out. Ah, okay, so if you don't know why these paints are special and maybe you just didn't catch that or maybe you're out of the loop, these paints right here are the exact paints that are used by THE Studio Ghibli. Some of the most incredible artwork that has ever been created in human history. And according to this TikToker, these are the exact paints that they use. Okay, are you ready? Because I'm not ready. So excited, like genuinely. I know I've said that like a thousand times, but like genuinely, I'm just ah so excited. Wow, these are some beautiful, beautiful paints. So it comes with 12 colors and they're all very vibrant, bright, beautiful, highly pigmented colors. They're 40 milliliter tubes, obviously made in Japan. Even though these are called poster color, from my understanding, they're very, very similar to gouache paint. And if you don't know what gouache is, it's kind of like a mix between acrylic paint and watercolor. And if you are interested in trying these, I'll leave a link to the smaller but cheaper versions. That way, if you just wanna try these out, but you don't wanna spend all the money. But just looking at the swatches alone, that's not gonna tell me how good of a paint it is. So, with most of the art supplies that I've reviewed today, excluding the broken one, I'm gonna do a drawing, put them to use, and see what I actually think about them. So before I show you the final thing, we we need to talk. 
This paint, I have a love-hate relationship with it. First, we'll start with the bad. It dries in a completely different color than when it's wet. I was thinking, oh yeah, I'm just gonna put a dark blue here and then it would dry into a light blue, which I'm not gonna lie, it was a little frustrating, okay. Next thing that drove me crazy is that you have to be so careful with the amount of water that you use with these paints. Because if you use just a little bit too much water, it'll actually melt down the bottom layer of the paint underneath it. And then those two colors are gonna mix together and you're gonna get a whole new color. But then at the same time, if you add too much paint, which I did a couple of times, it's gonna start cracking on top of the paper. So the whole time I was painting, I was stressed out. Like I wasn't ever too sure, is this the right amount of paint? Is this too much water? But the good thing about this paint is that it is insanely, 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 insanely pigmented. Like the colors are just screaming off the page. And on top of that, I loved how beautiful this paint layered on top of each other. So my final thoughts on this paint is that they definitely do have a learning curve, but I think that once I get the hang of these paints, I'm really, really gonna like them. So yeah, these are really cool. I've never used a paint like this in my life. I would say it's definitely worth buying. Well guys, there you go. That was me trying out random viral TikTok stuff that you guys have sent me. If you didn't know I have a TikTok, please keep tagging me and stuff. Like, keep it coming. Let's keep this train going. I have a lot of fun making this, guys. Thank you so much again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow my TikTok. I hope you guys have the most amazing, wonderful day. And with that being said, I will see you guys next video. Bye.